All right, so let's do these last two together here. Notice that this is a greater than, great or than. So this is an or statement, great or than. So this is x plus 8 is greater than 8, and x plus 8 is less than negative 8. Subtracting 8 on both sides here gives me x is greater than 0. And subtracting 8 on this side gives me x is less than negative 16. So there's my solution. And if I graphed it, I would have uh, a 0 there and a negative 16 way over there. It's two open circles greater than 0, which is all of that, less than 0, which is all of that. So there's your first one. Now to the second one. Oh, this was a biggie. This was a biggie. There's a lot of stuff going on on this problem. So let's see how well you did, okay? First of all, I need to solve for the absolute value before I do anything else. So I'm going to add 8 to both sides, leaving me with 3 is ti times the absolute value of 5m minus 6 uh, is less than or equal to 21. Then I need to divide this by 3. And I end up with the absolute value of 5m minus 6 is less than or equal to 7. Now, this right here is a less than, right, big capital A, less than, and statement. So let's turn it into a compound inequality. Remember, change the sign, negative 7, is less than or equal to 5m minus 6 less than or equal to positive 7. Give my 7's arms. And then we need to solve this. Add 6 to all 3 gives us negative 1 is less than or equal to 5m. It's less than or equal to 13. And then I need to divide by 5. We end up with negative 1 fifth is less than or equal to m is less than or equal to 13 fifths. All right, like I said, this is a heavy one. All right, this is a heavy one. We've got practice that needs to get done. Uh, if you go back to your Canvas lesson, you can see that assignment. Be sure to speak up and ask questions on this one. Uh, like I said, heavy topic. Uh, let me know if you got any questions in the comments or try to contact me. Otherwise, thank you very much. Bye.